Welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Video Series. My name is Joey Coakley, and today we're going to cover the topic of how to set up enterprise-grade load balancing in AWS using Avi. Let's get started. Before we deploy our enterprise application, let's take a quick look at the Avi and AWS integration. In an Avi deployment, the controller is responsible for the heavy lifting when it comes to managing the AWS resources needed to provision our application. In our demo today, we'll use AWS Auto Scaling Groups as our pool members. With Auto Scaling Groups, we have the option to monitor any changes to the Auto Scaling Group instance count via SQS or SNS. The controller will reach out to EC2 for things like adding our new virtual service IP, and once our service is in good health, Avi will provision a DNS A record so that our users can access the application by name. So let's take a look at our application, in this case, the infamous Hello World. For our Hello World deployment, we'll take advantage of a multi-AZ design where we'll provision virtual IPs in each availability zone. And those virtual IPs will be backed by auto-scaling groups which stretch across both AZs. Let's deploy our application. To kick things off, let's take a look at what I have provisioned in AWS. In my Ride 53 zone, I don't have a record yet for Hello World, but I do have an auto-scaling group defined in EC2. This auto-scaling group has got four instances, two in AZA and two in AZB. Next, let's go ahead and configure our virtual service. I'm gonna select my AWS cloud. I'll give this a friendly name. And since we want this to be a multi-AZ application, let's make sure that we choose subnets that are in each of the different AZs. I would like this application to be available uh, on the internet, so I'm gonna assign an, an elastic IP so that I can reach it externally. Next, I want to give this application a name or a friendly name so that folks can access it. So let me deploy it here. And we said we wanted to tie this into an auto scaling group, so let's create a new pool. For my load balancing algorithm, I'm gonna choose round robin just so that I can flip through the different pool members later on. Here is where I will tie this to an auto scaling group. And this is the name of my auto scaling group here. And you can see these are my four servers. For the rest of these, we can sort of next through them. So our virtual service looks like it's up. Let's go take a look at Route 53. Here I can see my A record that has my IPs, my elastic IPs from my two different subnets. So next, I need to allow DNS just a little bit of time to propagate. So I'm gonna briefly pause the video and come back once I'm able to resolve my record here. Okay, we are back. And I just want to refresh here, show that my records haven't changed. And I'm now able to access Hello World by name. As I flip through these entries, you'll see that the instance ID corresponds to my auto scaling group members here. So B407, 036C, B407, 036C. You can see that we're just flipping through and accessing each of our different instances within our auto scaling group. Uh, with that, we now have an enterprise multi AZ application with a dynamic number of pool members to match required load. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos in our application delivery how to video series.